right. Is there anything that anybody wants to bring to our attention? No, actually, it's, uh, for me, it's the first time to attend a meeting of the Expression Media team, and yeah, I just want to uh, listen and perhaps uh, contribute if I can, <laughs> so to say. Uh, Daniel, yeah, we haven't met. I'm not actually sure. Um, uh, well, I don't actually know what um, what you can help with. Uh, can you just uh, give a quick descriptions of what you do and what you know and what you'd like to help with? Yeah, actually I'm, uh, like you see in the, in the in my nickname, I'm the coordinator of the local activism team here for my region in Germany and uh, I'm also active in the linguistic team in uh, like translation uh, of designing the future at the moment or proofreading, better to say, into German. And yeah, I'm also uh, doing together with Craig's uh, the study group. And like uh, skills I could provide, I don't know if it's really um, <laughs> if I could really help on like uh, the media because I'm not really uh, involved in video uh, uh, creation or something like this or audio files. But I uh, don't know. I just want to listen and maybe I have some ideas or contribution to to that. Um, well, where I think maybe you can help on the media side um, is if the people that you know are in your group uh, over in Germany, there's, if there are some people uh, that do media work with medias and have some skills of, uh, that we can use um, and makes. I mean, if they don't speak English, we can. I mean, you could be. Um, media, I mean, helping out with translation and. Uh, uh, maybe just uh, get them to do some work, but I mean, if we can contact them directly, that's that would be great as well. Yeah, exactly. There's also something I have in mind uh, by attending this meeting, uh, because actually there are some some people who uh, would have some skills in this direction or the like, and uh, but I think most of them couldn't have made it to this meeting, so I'm kind of uh, representing them uh, them, and uh, yeah, I will. Like you said, provide then uh, the contact details and so on. Um, regarding the the current um, projects, um, I mean the ones that we have been mentioning before. Um, basically, uh, uh, the first one we talked about um, was the one about making a video for each uh, team in on the video. Uh, um, activism, well, one, um, just get some people to do that, um, so yeah, that, that we need to organize uh, something about that, and then there was uh, that other project about the short animations as well, um, that's, I mean, that's all I can think of uh, regarding videos, um, I, uh, it's been mentioned lately, like, but podcast and a, a V radio, so uh, I'd like to actually know a bit more about that if anyone can uh, yeah, just know anything about it. I'm sorry, maybe you should repeat that again. I don't think we understood. Oh, by the way, is my mic all right? Yeah, your mic is fine. Okay, cool. Uh, yes, yeah, so I, I was just talking about the current projects. Um, like, the one that I'm aware of that we talked about uh, was, uh, I mean, the, the one that was uh, proposed is making a video of... Uh, uh, explanatory video um, about each team so people that just join actually watch the video and then know where to go and uh, what to do so each video for uh, different sections of the activism um, should be that uh, very well explained so people actually knows what, know where to go that was the, the basically the, the main projects that we had 
Um, and then I know that all the projects that we had um, um, about making some short animations uh, that uh, will require some kind of uh, some good planning if you want to make something that's actually but because that would be for everyone really to see and uh, try to, to invite people to get to see the Venus project in a in a better way. And um, the other projects I'm not aware of too much are uh, the podcast and the V radios. So um, just reading what Alfred's actually saying. Uh, Alfred's saying there are new music content guidelines. This coming directly from Osam. I spoke to here earlier. Ben, do you have a volunteer that's willing to take on the task in of making those team description vids? The scripts, the scripts will, uh, are almost ready for the various core teams. Um, I suppose we just need a volunteer from the expressions team who can put those scripts in the video to step up and then we can begin submitting the scripts to the expressions team? Um, well, no, uh, we don't actually have much um, done on, on this on this side. Um, first, when I heard about it, um, I was still a bit confused like how we can make actually a video of each team because I don't think it takes a whole video to explain a team. I was a bit confused on my side. Um, but it was actually, if I understand well, it was an, an idea from Roxanne that uh, we should do something like that. So I'm not the best to elaborate, uh, the best guy to elaborate on this idea, to be honest. So, and uh, we have talked to, we just don't have actually people working on any pro particular projects at the moment. Okay, I know Alfred's good at putting videos together. Alfred, I'd like you to do the one for the tech research team. I know you've got loads of material, Alfred, that you use for the automation is here videos that you did. So I think perhaps three minutes of footage from that series that you did would be great for the tech research team. Um, if we can find somebody to read out the script and do a voiceover for that video, then I'd like you to produce the video material for that, Alfred, for tech research. A suggestion, Ben, for the media contacts project which would now fall within the marketing team, um, was to, um, this may interest you, Sheena, when we do the description for that team, to use footage from some of Jock and Roxanne's media interviews that they've done in the past, for example, when Jock was on Larry King, or other media interviews that Jock has done, to use that visual material for that specific three minute video for the market in a media contacts project. Um, obviously Alfred with tech research, I just like, you know, the, the good, the best content from the automation is here vids, that, that would be great Alfred, but we can discuss in more detail what we want to put into that three minutes, I'd like to do that with you. I think Michael, Vincent, Michael Eleven, I think he's offered to do one for Chris and the marketing team, Ben. So it's a shame Michael's not here today, um, but I think Michael may be able to help in producing the videos, um, any that Alfred's not able to do. But, um, obviously Alfred's good at doing this as well, so I think we've got Alfred and Michael who'd be willing to put these videos together. I suggest they take on that particular project. Um, who do we have for voiceovers, Alfred? Sheena, are you prepared to do voiceovers? Joe, I think you'd be good for that as well. Yeah, I'm definitely, I, I've tried to do it, but I've got a problem, my Skype mic has a, when it records it has like a hiss or something on it, <clears throat> so I don't think the sound quality is good enough, um, and I've got a decent microphone, but I, I I can't find, or maybe never had, the pin that converts it from a jack to a small headphone kit pin, so I can plug the mic into my laptop, I'm absolutely 100% up for it, I just, I just uh, haven't got my kit sorted. <laughs> Yes, I'd be happy to do a voiceover for the videos. I don't know how my voice sounds to other people. It might sound a little too baritone or threatening, but I'm willing to give it a try. 
I think your voice is on. Stop, Jeff. Thank you, thank you. Also, uh, can we get someone to read what Alfred is writing here in the chat room window because I'm really busy with keeping minutes. Yeah, I'll do it, Mike. Yes, please. Okay, so the new the new music content guidelines. Uh, and this is this coming directly from Roxanne. Um, so as Alfred spoke to her earlier. So this is the quote. We don't we don't want to attack any one group. The entire society is inefficient and all and all obsolete, and are undergoing transition. We don't want to attack religions, banks, or politics, but we want to describe where they are inefficient or don't serve the well-being of the public. We don't want to call them names or attack, but describe the inefficiencies and offer an alternative. They can use the concepts of the Venus Project. Uh, all new music tracks will go through the quality assurance team, approval, Roxanne, and marketing team. Yeah, so great. Sounds great. Uh, mm -hmm. This sounds like a great statement that I perhaps also could use in the German uh, linguistic team for translation and then perhaps, uh, yeah, if this uh, subject comes up then we could use it. Uh, is it like, uh, can I use it for this or? I would have thought that would be okay. Oh, great. Well, Alfred Brazulala from Lost Children of Babylon would no doubt um, disagree to some extent. I, I like the track that they did for the Venus Project. But you know yourself, Alfred, the other material that LCOB are producing, um, they do attack certain aspects of the system. Um, I'm not sure whether Razul and Atun Senged as well, and Cosmic, who are very supportive of the Venus Project also. I'm not sure if there's any intention, Alfred, to produce any further material. I know they um, attended the, um, or planning to attend the media festival that was taking place in New York. Um, but I'll send Razul a message with the new content guidelines. Uh, the other guys I added to the expressions group, I don't think it's a concern from their end, the types of material they produce. Uh, you know Sasha Perez and what he's producing, Alfred. And the other two, Tristan Turker is a new one introduced to us by Kimberly Shoemaker, um, a personal friend of Kimberly's. Um, I'll put Tristan Turker's website into the chat so that you and Sheena can take a look at that. And Greg Paris, the other one based in France, I think um, there's not a lot of lyrical content to what Greg and Sasha are doing, so they're fine. Um, but I'll get Tristan's website so that you can have a look at his material. All right, Craig, so just to clarify, you said that you want Kimberly Shoemaker to be on board. Um, no, to clarify, Joe, Kimberly suggested um, a musical artist, Tristan Turka. I think he's primarily a producer and composer of music. And he gets his lyrical content through collaborations, but I think it's mainly music production that's Tristan's field of expertise. He's a personal friend of Kimberly's and he's also supportive of the Venus Project and Kimberly suggested Tristan asked me to take a look at his website and see if he could help the Venus Project in any way through music production at any point in future. Okay, sounds good. Can you put Tristan's last name and website here in the chat room window?
Um, actually, one question that comes to my mind now uh, concerning this um, uh, artist and and so on <coughs> is um, you also know some like uh, sustainable thinking artists in Germany that uh, perhaps would be interested in the Venus project. So I'm kind of uh, interested in some presentational stuff that uh, could be handed out to them, or uh, should I just introduce them like uh, I would anyone else <laughs> just by talking and uh, or do you have some some like a presentation that could be put in an email attachment and then uh, send out to several people or something like th something like this Daniel Sasha Perez who I recently added to the expressions media group um, Sasha works in the Austrian Music Academy and um, he's generating a lot of supportive contacts there for us Daniel so we have them building up in um, the influential musical circles in Austria. If we could do likewise in Germany, Dan, that would be great. Yeah, cool. Sounds great. Uh, can you perhaps provide me some contact details with uh, Sasha? Let me see if I can find his website for you. Okay. Tristan's is in the gap there for you guys. But again, if, if you get hold of Kimberly, Kimberly will be able to get hold of Tristan straight away. So if we've got any work that needs doing, he'll be happy to help. All right. Okay, well, just as a little update from the VTune side of things, um, obviously I'm very new to um, dealing with that, but um, already got a couple of new people interested in submitting music, some of which I've listened to and some of that I haven't because it's been today. Um, there's one guy in particular, I can't remember his name, but he's, it's, it's very, it's very, um, it's not song so much, but it is great kind of film music, so I think he's definitely one to, well, you know, I'll add them all to the contact list, so... This is an update that I am active with that and uh, expanding the database, etc. Just for the sake of the audio recording, we have two artists that we're dealing with. Tristan Tircha, I think that's how it's spelled and pronounced. T-Y-R-C-H-A. That's his website is T-R-I-S-T-N-T-Y-R-C-H-A.com. And then we have Sasha Perez. Composer and pianist. It's S A S C H A P R E S dot A T. Yeah, what would be best, Sheena, in the long term is if we can compile some form of database to include all of these artists. And then if we have any projects that are needed we can send out a group email and a newsletter to all of these supportive artists and hopefully there'll be some collaboration between them then to produce materials on our behalf. Yeah, I think I've been sent over some documents. Um, I think that was yourself, AH, um, that sent them to me. I didn't have the right software to open them up, but I believe, I believe one of them is a database of um, contributors I believe, but I've, I've just finally got it sorted today, I think, after adding, downloading something else. So I should be able to open all those up now and, and have a good look through them and then add new contacts to them. Okay, um, that one specifically, Sheena, includes all of our media contacts and most of those are potential contacts unless um, the text descriptions that come with them signify otherwise. Joe also has copies of those documents, Sheena, as a backup, so you each have a copy so that that doesn't get lost. Um, now what Andrew's concern is, is that when I move over to specifically to the tech research department, that there'll be a loss of work in regard to what the media contacts team has currently done. Um, so both you and Joe, Sheena, have a copy of that file for the media contacts projects. Um, so what we're looking for is work retention and for you to then develop those projects and databases at your discretion 
in the way that you best choose. Um, so if you want to use another platform, Sheena, or another way of listing these contacts, please do so. Um, but we can discuss this with Joe and with Chris in the next marketing meeting specifically. Um, but there's only a few musical artists there, Sheena. What I'd like to do is take them from that list and begin to compile a separate database specifically for VTunes. And if we can include supportive radio hosts within that database. So we have artists producing music and we also have radio hosts um, on a database to go with that for VTunes and that would be great in the long term. Yeah, that sounds fabulous. Um, I, think I'd, I think I'd already assumed that there was a separate list for artists, but like you say, it's quite, you know, it's quite a new thing and that, isn't it? So, yeah, absolutely. I'll definitely um, get onto that and get it as a separate thing from the media contacts and I'll add the current radio people and, and the new ones, yeah. On it. <laughs> Thank you. What I suggest, Sheila, is we look at ways of storing and compiling all of this information specifically within the marketing team meeting. Uh, reason being, Alfred, is I think our lists of contacts are growing at a quicker rate because there's more diversity in the types of people we're communicating with. So, Sheena, what we'll do in the marketing meetings, we'll discuss how to store and compile that information, which database platforms would be most appropriate to us. Once we have those in place and functional, we can then make suggestions to the expressions team as to which platforms and databases would be sufficient for uh, musical artists, radio contacts, those type of lists. That sounds good, yeah. Um, do I remember rightly that um, I'll just, I just would have a list of music contacts trying to find out a created database. Expressions we as well. Oh, right, fabulous, Alfred. That sounds great. That sounds really good. And um, am I right in thinking that there was an online um, something we could use online, um, which so that it doesn't have to be a document that's privately stored, say by myself, that I then share for VTunes. Is there, is there some uh, website where it could be a password so that we can all access it and and you know. The relevant people look at it. Is that a possibility? Okay, we need to have detailed discussions on what our needs and requirements are and what tools would best serve those needs. Um, Alfred's men mentioned in the chat that there's 93 individuals that have filled out the Venus Expressions media roster. Um, so we need to compile a database of those. Now, what Andrew has asked is that we discuss our needs and requirements. And then if we can submit those to Andrew as a text document, then he will speak to Tiago and the IT team, get them to do some research, and then they will return a suggestion to us as to the best tools and softwares and database systems that would best serve our needs. Um, they'll also set those up for us and include those in the new website if appropriate. Um, so the, the only thing we need to decide is what do we require out of these database lists. Okay, cool. So we'll, we'll, we'll bash that out at a different meeting then, yeah? Yeah, I'd like to get more into that in the marketing meeting because we have a diversity of uh, requirements. What we really want is something flexible, Sheena, so that we can refer to the database and target a specific demographic from that. It may be a location where we want to find all of our media contacts in that location. It may not be location, it may be a certain field of expertise. It may be people listed working on one project. Um, so ideally the database needs to be flexible. When each of us accesses it, we need to not alphabetical, she you know, with every contact we have. That would take us hours and hours and hours. But if we can click on one option, one button, that will take us straight to the appropriate contacts within that database, then that would be the software tool that we'd be looking for. Yeah, yeah, I think with some thought and some discussion, we'll find a really um, time-friendly way to, to do that and have things categorized in the most relevant way. Yeah, that sounds good. Sounds like the way forward. So hopefully, Sheena, if we discuss that in marketing, you can bring that back to the expressions team then and discuss this with Alfred 
Um, so hopefully we don't um, give them too much work in the IT and development departments. If we can um, discuss our needs within media contacts, and then you can discuss the v tunes and the media boss that their needs with Alfred, then we'll speak to each other then, Sheena, you, myself, and Alfred, and we'll put a text document together, together ideally, that will suit the needs of both teams. And that would be great if we could get that database incorporated onto the website. Uh, bear in mind, Andrew already has a database for the scientific and technical contributions, the volunteers in that capacity, so that database may serve our needs. But Andrew can't confirm that until he has a more clear picture of what our needs are. Okay, cool. Oh. Yeah, that all sounds... Oops. Sorry, go on, Daniel. <laughs> no, go ahead. I was just, I was just going to say that all sounds fab, and yeah, we'll... We'll give some time and thought to that and uh, set up something really good, I think, there. Okay, Chase, I'm going to bookmark, bookmark that link you put in. Um, thanks for that link, Chase. Um, I'll get take another look at that in detail and speak to you about that once I've had a chance to do so. Uh, one thing uh, I'd like to suggest or, or add uh, to the database stuff. Um, I'm also like a, a little bit a computer technician, uh, not uh, really... Uh, whole time so to say but uh, I have that kind of background so um, I would suggest uh, to create a database uh, I don't know if it's already planned to uh, like like one central database that uh, connects all the teams together so we have uh, uh, like a data model uh, uh, that's um, that can serve all needs of all teams and uh, I think yeah this could be done and it's not very uh, it's not um, impossible so to say so we could maybe suggest that to Andrew and so on. Can I continue to invite you to these discussions then, Daniel, so we can get some feedback from you? Yeah, of course. Excellent. Let's leave that one then. and I'll, I'll call a separate meeting then, Sheena and Alfred and Daniel, and we'll get together to discuss our uh, database needs and see if we can find some solutions. And then we'll put a document together and submit that to Andrew to incorporate it in the website. Okay, good one. Great. Is there anything else on the agenda, guys? Is there any developed plans for V Radio? Um, I noticed some of the logos that you did on the Facebook page, Ben. Um, I like those, they look fantastic. Uh, thank you. Um, I'm not actually sure what's going on about that project. I just uh, I saw a post from uh, Alfred on that page and uh, they said he was talking about a logo. Um, I don't know if you, but it was also, they were, um, he was talking about the podcast and the radio. So I assume they're two different things. Uh, so that one was sort of like either one really so I, I just had some time so I did that but I'd like to know more about the other products well these two products really yeah I'm laughing myself Alfred um, I'm just thinking Neil's on the expressions group he's gonna be looking at all of these postings Alfred so I don't know what you suggest um, I bet Neil's scratching his head looking at these logos But I agree with you, Alfred. Um, v Radio, as currently run by Neil Keenan, is very independent of the Venus Project. Um, he's supportive of several different organizations, the Zeitgeist Movement, Open Source Ecology, the Love Police, 
Um, some of them are not supportive of, some of those individuals and groups are not supportive of the Venus Project. Um, I think Neil keeps the show very neutral. And I think we do have need for a specific Venus Project um, and supportive radio station. Um, if that's the proposal, I would support it. Um, Sheena, have you looked at any platforms for hosting a free radio? Um, I'm not sure. Alfred, can you, um, what, what's the situation with Blog Talk? There's a monthly charge for hosting a radio station on Blog Talk. We did have a guy, Sheena, in the UK, Terry, that was setting one up. Are you familiar with any um, free radio platforms that we could use, Sheena? I'm not, but I know enough people that do it to be able to find out. I think Spreaker is free. That's, uh, you can do your own podcasts from that and then promote them. Oh, talk show. Okay, cool. So there's a, there's a few around that we can use then. Okay, I'd suggest we make the databases the first priority, Sheena, um, so there's no loss of work, so we have retention of everything that we've put into this point. Um, so not only does that apply to media contacts, musical artists, supportive radio hosts, um, Alfred's list of individuals for the Expressions media roster, once we have those databases in place, maybe we can then perhaps put projects on hold if need be to set up the radio show. Um, I'd like to see that in future, but I think it's something that we, we should just um, do some maybe initial research, ask some questions, Sheena, in the network that you currently have to get some advice on what we could use in the future. Um, but over the next couple of weeks, let's definitely focus on getting the databases in place. And Alfred, what I'll do, I'll chase up the scripts from the various core teams for team descriptions and get those submitted to you as soon as possible. Um, I'm sure Michael will help Alfred if needs be to produce them. And it sounds like you've got lots of people to do voiceovers as well, so that's good. Okay, cool, Craig. I'll, I'll prioritize that then. Thanks. I'd like to recommend using TalkShoe. And Craig, what was the name of the other free radio station that you mentioned? Um, I'd have to chase up and go back to my files to get that radio station. I can't remember the name of it offhand. What I'll do, I'll contact Terry here in the UK and see what suggestions he has. Um, but I may take some weeks before I put any focus on that radio station. Definitely team descriptions. Nice one, Chase. So Chase is volunteering as well, Alfred, to help out with the team description videos. I'll chase up the scripts for those as soon as possible. And I'll come back to you with the scripts, Alfred, and hopefully we can get those team descriptions vids ideally ready for when the public release of the website comes, but if not, then a short time after. What other prior, um, priority projects should we be considering, Alfred? Is there any other projects that should be considered priority? Uh, well, I would like to suggest something, uh, something um, concerning the uh, audio files, like uh, Jack lectures that we hear in the study groups. Uh, I think someone already mentioned it in some other meeting. Um, uh, perhaps we can use some software to um, to like uh, diminish the noise in the in the audio file, so we can better understand it, and like people from other countries can better understand it. And yeah, um, I don't exactly know if already someone volunteered for this, but uh, if there are still uh, human resources needed, so to say, I could also ask this in the uh, German community. I think there were some people who were um, familiar with audio software and all of that and yeah maybe I could ask about it. Okay I'll send that material through to Chase Dan and hopefully we can get some of that background noise cleared up on those old lectures. I know Roxanne would appreciate anything you can do there Chase. Um, Roxanne would be appreciative. If you if it would benefit you Chase to get the hard copies of the CDs um, in real life as opposed to the online recordings 
if you can improve the sound quality by having access to the actual CDs. I can ask Roxanne to send those to you as well, Ben. Um, so either way, Ben, if you can clear up what we currently have online, that would be great. Further to that, if you think you can even better clear them up from the hard copies, then I can get Roxanne to send those to you. Uh, but I'll send you the online recordings right now. Yeah, I think eventually, Sheena, um, our listeners will come from within the project and from those speaking to us within the project. Um, so it doesn't matter if we lose some functionality in regard to creating awareness of the show. Um, we don't need to pay for advertising or marketing because all of the support is going to come from within the project, Sheena. That's where the listener base will come from. So we don't need to advertise it. We don't need to market it, and we certainly don't need to pay for that. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, suggest going with the one that you pay for when there's free ones out there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think some of them um, will be very subtle in the way that they incorporate their costs, and I'm sure they generate a lot of funding for themselves then through advertising, so that may be why they apply a certain cost here and there, which is unnecessary. I'm told by Terry in the UK that the free platforms are definitely out there. Fabulous. Team descriptions is my big priority for now, Joe. I don't need to talk about that any further. I'm going to chase up Ray and Sean and Chris, um, get those scripts submitted where needed to Alfred, um, and then we can discuss further the types of material that we're going to include. The big priority, Alfred, needs to be expressions in the core teams. The design teams can wait in regard to team descriptions. So I'll chase up Jackie and Sean, and Sue and Ray, and Chris and Nick as well. Get those um, scripts on your table as soon as possible. Guys, one question. How can how can I help you if I don't have many knowledge in in media, but maybe some on organizing tasks? How would you like to contribute, Nicholas? I don't know much, but maybe maybe on these projects you have a, you have separated a tasks that that could be supported. I don't know, maybe with the um, the database that you're uh, making now. Maybe I can help you with it. I'd like you to work with Joe Nick. Joe, you're taking on a heck of a, a shitload of work, Joe, at this time. If Nicholas can take some of that off your shoulders, Joe, then I think that would be brilliant. Um, you can work then yourself and Nicholas to not only help myself and Alfred, but the other teams if possible. Um, I'd, like, I'd like to see that, Nicholas. I'd like you to take some of th this work off Joe's shoulders. I would love to. It's up to Joe. I will keep the offer in mind. I will be attending this week's study group session on Saturday, so that won't be a problem. However, I will definitely keep, I'll let Nicholas know if I need any help. And I do appreciate the offer, thanks. What's the quickest way to get hold of you, Nicholas? Is it through Facebook? Yeah, um, I'll post here in the chat room also my Gmail. Hey, um, there's the other projects I talked about before that I'd like to get going. Uh, I suppose it's not a priority. Um, the one about uh, the group's description is, has got a higher priority. Um, but um, basically, um, we, uh, I need for for it to to work. Um, I need some people 
I mean, I'm working, I'm working, we're working on the script at the moment. I've got Laurie, who is really keen on helping, and she started to write on what the script of one of the animations. I started to write on uh, the script for another one. All this, obviously, is still a uh, very early stage. Um, I was starting to get some people interested from where I work uh, to maybe uh, contribute and help out. Um, but I don't know if... Um, I was going to have to, I was going to wait until the database gets sorted so I can actually contact some people and try to dispatch some work because um, I've got a good uh, idea of what needs to be done and uh, I'd be happy to actually um, just try to organize it all. What do you need, Ben? Is it written content? Uh, well, yeah, uh, I mean, uh, I've I've got I've um I've got a good idea of what needs to be done, um, but we need a really strong script uh, to get the the idea through in the right way, um, and uh, I think that's where, because I knew there was a, a script team, uh, in the, in the, one of the core team the, is working on the film, so I was wondering if actually any people that actually script professional script writers would have some time to actually uh, contribute on this side um, of, of on these animations I'd suggest it needs to come from the writing team um, Alfred have you had any communication with them regarding script for the animations project I could I could try to contact them and directly uh, and see what they say. Is there anyone in particular that has to contact for this? Um, I'd suggest Sean is the best person, Sebastian. I think uh, uh, sorry, Ben. The way they're currently working is. Sean is listing the projects that require participation and then those who join in and come into the writing team they can then take on that project um, if Laurie is willing to contribute in that regard then perhaps it would be good if Laurie joins the writing team and works with Sean on this written material failing that then my only suggestion would be to speak to Sean or speak to Jackie um, try to get some emphasis placed on that project so that it's added to the list of proposed writing projects. And from there, we're just looking for a participant, a volunteer to take that on. Um, so speaking to people would be the best thing. Um, but if somebody's going to take on the job of producing that written content, Ben, could you get them into the writing team, um, whether it be Laurie or anybody else, get them into the writing team, get them speaking to Jackie and to Sean to let them know what's going on, get them joined up with the team, and then get that project listed within the writing team projects. Um, if I'm, I can't confirm this for definite, but I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I think Sean may already have that on his projects list, but I, I don't want to say that 100%. Yeah, okay, that's cool. I'll check with them. Um, I've not actually met them. Is it, uh, what are their last names? And uh, have you got their contact uh, email? It's Jackie Carboni and... Sean, is it Hodgkins? What's Sean's surname, Joe? Which Sean are you referring to? Sean downstairs. I just sent him a PM asking him to come up. You mean Sean Hodgkins? Yeah, I think that's his surname. Uh, but the best way to get um, contact with them directly is the email address, Ben, writing at the venusproject.com. Yeah, I'll try that.
Oh, um, are we having this kind of meeting uh, like every month or so, or every week? I'd suggest more more often, Alfred. I'd suggest at least bi-weekly. Yeah, good call. Bi-weekly then. Okay, Joe, can you take care of those? And Nicholas, can you help Joe if needs be, if the workload's getting too much? Sure. So far, I have everything on the control. But again, I'll keep Nicholas in mind, and I do appreciate the backup. Okay, well, definitely, Joe. It's going to get crazy soon. Um, so, yeah, bi weekly then, Ben. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, um, Alfred, I'm going to schedule two meetings then. One with uh, Chris and Sheena and um, uh, Joe, and also with Daniel. And I'll send you an invite to that, Alfred, to discuss our database needs and submitting those needs to Andrew so that we can get a database on the new website where needed for each project. And I'll also schedule a meeting with linguistics, with writing, and with marketing to get those scripts submitted onto your table as soon as possible. So that's what I'll go away and do from here. So, got those in the notes, Joe? I'm sorry, that was a lot. Can you email, can you either post it here on the chat room or have it emailed and then I'll add it to the notes? Yeah, will do. Um, I'll email you those two. Um, ben, are you going to chase up someone to get written content for the animations project? Uh, yeah, I'll try emailing Sean and Jackie, well, the writing team in general, and uh, uh, see what they're up to and, um, yeah, get any kind of advice from them. Or I'll probably, uh, well, I'll expose my idea anyway because I've got a good idea. So um, we'll probably, I'll try to work with them on this. Okay, and Chase, you're going to do those lecture files and try to get some better sound quality for us. And any um, contribution you can get the expressions team, that would be great, sir. Nice one.